Okay, so today I thought I'd film my Halloween slash special effects makeup kit. Loads of you have asked to see this. I'm actually filming this on Halloween, um, so I know that it's going to be up after Halloween, so I do apologise. I just haven't had a chance to get it filmed, um, so I'm filming it now. Um, but I keep it all in this clear plastic bag. Um, the reason I'm filming it now is because I'm getting it set up because it's Halloween day today and I'm doing loads of Halloween makeup today, so I've got it with me and it's all set up and stuff. Um, yeah, I just keep it all in here because it's easily accessible. It still actually has the label on, it's just from Superdrug. First off, I have this brush set. This is just a face paint brush set, and in here I've got spatulas as well. These are for scar wax. Um, these are what I use mostly. I do use normal face um, makeup brushes too. I don't know if you can see this one here. It's like the t you probably can't even see it. The nib is the tiniest little brush thing ever, so it's really good for detailed work. Um, so I keep them in this just this clear plastic bag because it keeps them a bit cleaner. I'm just going to pull things out in no particular order. So first off I have some liquid latex. This one is just from eBay to be fair. I sort of feel like liquid latex is liquid latex. It's all the same stuff. Um, this one is I think clear. It says it's not but no not it says. It doesn't look it so it yeah it says colours darker once dry but to be fair it's pretty much completely clear. I think it was a couple of quid off eBay. Um, it's not branded or anything like that. <clears throat> And I have three little makeup sponges. I use one for liquid latex and normally one for white face paint, just hanging around so I've got them spare. And then this I use for setting, um, setting, uh, what's it called, face paint down. Then I have a Mayron um, colour set powder. This is a translucent powder by Mayron. It's specifically designed for fixing cream makeup and face paint, so it's really, really good for that. And that's what I use this little one with. It looks really, looks like, I don't know, like glitter dust, but it is just a translucent powder. Then I have this. It's probably the one of the best things I own. This is the Mayron Bruise Ring. Um, if I open it up for you, I don't really know why I kept it in the box, but I did. Um, it's just a circular... I don't really need that box, I can get rid of that. Um, it's a cream makeup ring, and they are so, so, so pigmented, these colours. Look at that. They're literally so good for bruising and stuff like that because you can mix them together and make like a really good like bruised effect on the skin. Absolutely love these, so long lasting. Mayron Rocket on the bruising front. Then I have a Ghost Contour Stick by Makeup Revolution. This is quite good for like um, doing black detailing, stuff like that. It's just got a black end and then opposite it's got a white end as well. I'm on my like third one of these because I've gone through them so quick because you don't get like a shed load of product but you know it's pretty good. When you're doing makeup on other people they don't last all that long. Um, but I think that's only like £4 from Superdrug. Then I've got another Mayron cream makeup. This is the zombie colour I think. It's just called, Zo I don't know if it's even got a name on it. Um, this I think is probably sealed. Yeah, um, I haven't used this yet um, because it came in a kit. I really wanted the flesh gel, which I'll show you in a minute. And the only way I could get it is to buy a whole Mayron kit, which is what I did. Um, and this was one of the things that came with it. It's just like a zombie colour skin cream. <clears throat> then I have a whole bunch of face paints and stuff. Let's get those out next. <clears throat> um, so I've got two, where's the other one? I've got two scar waxes. This one is clear, it, well, this is a special effects wax, so it is basically a scar wax, as is this one, but it says it's a face and body wax, but it's more of a flesh tone, but they're both basically the same thing. And for that, I use those spatulas to dig that out and stuff. You can see I've got a tad of it taken out of there. Um, love this stuff. Then I have the Makeup Revolution Ghost Powder. Again, a really good product. It, I like the packaging, it sort of slides out like that, and it's got a mirror on the back. And it did have a sponge, but I've lost it. But it's a really nice white powder. It's quite good for setting white cream makeup down. Then I have a bunch of face paints. Um, Snazaroo are my favourite, but I find them quite hard to get hold of apart from online. Um, black and white, best... Oh, there we go, sorry. Black and white are the best black and whites I've got. I really, really like these. I go through these like nothing else. I'm going to get rid of all my Smithies ones and just buy Snazaroo ones. But for now, this year, I've just dealt with the black and white. And then the Smithies ones, I've got a red one, a black, I did have a white but I chucked it, um, a silver, which is actually metallic, which is great for like robot stuff, 
a blue and a yellow. Um, I didn't buy any more because things that you can mix these to make green and stuff like that. Then I have the Freedom Ghost Whitener. This is just like a white cream makeup, which I've used so much. I'm on my second one of these now. Then I have just a black MUA lipstick. This is in the shade Raven and it is just literally a black lipstick. Oh, there you go, sorry. It's actually a really good lipstick, I quite like it. It's not that wearproof though, as you can see. But it is good. Then I have Spirit Gum, just for sticking on Scar Wax. Again, this is from the Mayron kit. Then I have Tooth Effects from Mayron. This is Nicotine Effect. It's basically a stain for the teeth. It's really cool, but it's like, it stains your teeth like a yellow color. It's absolutely disgusting, um, but it's great for like zombies and stuff like that. So Mayron don't ship to the UK. So for those of the of you that are in the UK, I will try and link the Mayron kit I bought down below because all my Mayron stuff I bought together. It was like a zombie kit or something. So this is the Mayron 3D Flesh Gel. This is the main reason I bought the whole zombie kit. I wanted some of this stuff. I've been trying to get hold of it for ages because a couple of clients asked for like the dripping, melting face thing. I'm sure you've all seen Desi Perkins' Melting Skull and she used this exact product. And it is so hard to get in the UK. Um, so when I found this Mayron kit, it was like 25 quid and I thought, bugger it, I'm gonna buy the whole lot. And this came in it. This is the Flesh Tone 3D Gel. I do have just a black liner in this kit, but I don't know where it's gone. So I always keep a black eyeliner in my kit because it makes it easier to always have it with my Halloween stuff. Last up, I keep this little bag separate and this is all my fake blood. So I've got fresh scab and two pots of fake blood. I keep it in here because I'm paranoid that fake blood will leak. So I've got this one, which I'm nearly out of, which is just, I think one off eBay. And then I've got the fake blood from Make It Revolution or Freedom, I can't remember. Um, I bet it's darker than this one, which I like, as you can see. I think darker blood looks a lot more realistic. And this is the Casualty Effects Thick Blood, again from eBay. It's quite expensive, this stuff, but it's like fresh scab, like Ben Nye fresh scab, and it's so good, it looks like coagulate and disgusting, but it looks so realistic on the skin. I love it. So that's everything in my Halloween slash special effects makeup kit. I hope you like this video, guys. Um, sorry that it's after Halloween, but maybe it will give you some ideas of things to buy for next year. Um, any requests, as always, leave them down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.